First things first, welcome in or welcome back to the channel. My name is Grin and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I did a series on my channel where I grinded multiple bosses for a couple hundred hours and on that grind I got two new pets and made enough money to sell my bank and buy a Twisted Bow. You know what that means, it's time for a rebuild. Gonna be starting off this video with Hydra, which I finally got a task at the end of the last episode. I have been trying for so long to get it and I am so excited to go do this task. Um, but this is what my inventory is going to look like right now. I'll probably change it as time goes on. I do have the elite diary done so I can wear whatever boots I want. So right now I'm just wearing my uh, God Dehyde boots. And this is my gear setup right now. It's just more God Dehyde, the Slayer Helm, obviously, the Necklace of Anguish, Dragon Arrows, but yeah, and obviously the Tebow. Uh, this is what I'm going with right now. If things change, I will let you know, but I'm going to go ahead and get into the first few kills. actually just got the Hydra's Heart, which is pretty neat because I've already opened the collection log to find out that I've gotten now the Heart, the Eye, and the Fang, which you can combine to create the Brimstone Ring. And that's worth a little over 3 mil right now. So getting this Heart is kind of like a little 3 mil payday. And this is the first time I've ever gotten to go ahead and make something like that. So I'm going to deposit uh, all of this stuff here. And then I will find, let me go type in Hydra, use the fang and the eye. Do I just use it on one of the others? Uh, brimstone ring. Yeah. Yeah, make it. All right, cool. So brimstone ring done. 3.1 mil pretty much. Go ahead, add it to the loot tab. 6.4 mil now. Um, I've also actually been alking most of the rune drops I've been getting. Not quite all of them, I don't think, but most of them, because if I do that, I can get like, you know, six, seven, eight kill trips. And I will go ahead and when I find out how much money I've made from the Hydra grind itself, add up the total alk value of all the items I've alked and then put it on the screen just so that we see how much money I actually made just from alking. But you can actually see here in these 60 kills, I've made just about 1.4 mil straight cash. Um, and just looking at these items alone, you know, that's another, you know, 400k just in those. I've been alking some of the dragon long swords, alking the water stabs and the fire stabs. So lot of just straight GP being added, but I am enjoying the Hydra grind so far. Gonna go ahead and finish this task and then move on to something else that's been requested a lot in the comments. Got a bit of an interesting drop that trip. I actually got Mystic Robe Top Light for, and Robe Top Bottom Light. I didn't know that you could get them dropped at the same time, and I'm sure it's a lot more common than I think it is, but I just haven't really looked at the drop table that much because I just assume that, that drop table is amazing because it's Hydra and it is. But um, yeah, it's actually kind of cool to see. I've been alking a lot of stuff, but I'm actually going to put these in the loot tab itself and sell them later because I think they'll look pretty nice in it. Just finished up my Hydra task. I did end up finishing at 500 KC exactly. I used one full bracelet of slaughter. So although my task was 137, you can see here in the loot tracker, I actually did end up killing 167, but I stopped using bracelets of slaughter after I got through 30 uses of it because I realized it would leave me at 500 and I thought it was a good spot to leave it. Um, but I do have like 11 or 12 maybe, brimstone rings in the bank that I got from like the skipping randomly and I think I only got a few from Hydra itself oh, oh no okay I actually got five from a chemical Hydra so it's not too bad but I'm going to talk to Konar and see what task uh, she gives me and if it's one I want to do Adam and Dragons do not want to do it but maybe I can find a way to get through those three real quick and get another task but um I think I'm going to go chill at Mole for maybe 50 KC because I think that'll get me to 2,000 KC at Mole. And I might go and partake in a little activity that I was told many times in the comment section to go ahead and do. I did end up having 12 brimstone keys in the bank. So, I mean, I guess actually including the one I had in the inventory. And I used them all, and it adds almost 900k to the loot tab as well. Going to deposit that and go to mole. I sold everything off from all of the Hydra kills, and I do have 22 mil, actually almost 23 mil, and I just need to make 2 mil more to be able to do the giveaway from the last episode. 
And that is without selling the anguish that I still have in the bank. So where are you? Here it is. <laughs> so I've actually made about 45 mil so far in this series, which is not like an absurd amount of money, but it's not too bad, I think, for two episodes starting out. Um, and we would be well on our way to maybe our first piece of Missouri if um i did not have to do a giveaway but those are the rules oh i forgot to sell this 200 uh 22.2k uh yeah but th those are the rules if i get a pet someone's getting 25 mil but so i'm gonna go ahead and make some more money so i can actually do that giveaway and then hopefully still have made some afterwards fingers crossed I'm not quite sure what possessed me to do it, at least not now, because I said I was going to take a break to go do mole, but um, I decided to go ahead and start doing Phantom Muspa. A uh, few people requested it in the comments of the last video and said it was a great moneymaker. Honestly, I have not been here since the release of it, pretty much. And that's because when it first came out, I, I did not enjoy it. Uh, I think that Tebow only pretty much is way easier than how I was doing it before anyways. And I think now that I've got the kind of general idea, I'll bring a lot less food and just more prayer potions and stuff, honestly, because I have only done a two kill trip. I could have gotten a third, but I just decided to call it for now because dinner is about to be finished. Um, but as you can see with that two kills, it only brings me to nine KC. So I have a lot of work to do. But I believe the Venator Shard could be 1 in 100. Don't quote me on that. Um, as I do not know. I'm not a, you know, a RuneScape Wikipedia myself. But if I type in Venator here, those are going for over 17 mil. So a 1 in 100 for 17 mil, not bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and do this boss a little bit. If I'm enjoying it, I'll keep grinding it more and more. And if I get spooned at it, that might, uh, you know, make my interest in it go a little higher as well. But we shall see for now. So I've only done 10 Muspa kills. And although it's only been 10, I'm already calling it quits at this boss for now, which sure might be kind of lame. But honestly, this boss is incredibly frustrating because of the part that you have to just sit there and hope you can hit it with these stupid dragon sapphire bolts. And sure, you can get the timing right with smite and you can deal more damage to it, but I just like never hit the dang thing. Even like when it's in its melee form, you n I never hit it. I'm getting like four minute kills. Even, it's just incredibly frustrating. I've made one mil and died twice because when I get to the part that you have to shoot it with the sapphire bolts, they never happen. And then I sit there and I have to just tank it hitting me over and over and over and over and over again until that 75 damage has been done to itself because I can't hit it with these things. It is so agonizingly boring and frustrating when that stuff happens. And then like I forgot to bring a teleport in the last trip so I couldn't even teleport out because for some reason you can't click teleport with the Ring of Shadows or whatever, while it's shooting you because there's a projectile on its way to you, it is so incredibly frustrating. So I'm taking a pause at this until either I get more ranged accuracy or I can get an armadillo crossbow or something that might make the chance of this stuff happening sooner. Because until then, getting, you know, 12 to 15 kills an hour at a boss that is only like, I think like 200 something K an hour or like 200 something K GP per kill. It's just not worth it when I have to pay so much more attention to it and click around the room a million dang times. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to move on to something else. So I've decided actually just to come back and do some giant mole. I'm at 1,950 KC. I don't know why it only says 250 of the claws or whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm at 1,950 KC. Um, I think I'm just going to do this. It's pretty chill until I get the last like three mil I need to give away 25 mil without having to get rid of the necklace of anguish, which means I'll probably only be here for two more hours. I just need something that's pretty chill to do while me and my wife finish getting ready to go on a little trip we've been planning. So to that being said, I haven't had as much time to prepare in this video as I would typically have liked because we've been planning a little trip. 
Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this done so that I can at least give away that 25 mil. Somehow I missed KC2000 because as you can see here, I'm at 2002. Uh, but I think I'm just going to get to 2050 because once I get there, dang it, mole, why you got to dig away? Uh, once I get there, I'll have enough money to do the giveaway and still keep this necklace of anguish. Uh, you may notice I bought the Masori mask. I don't think it gives much, just a very, very slight uh, damage bonus because it's only plus two range strength from what I was already using. But it does give like six or seven more accuracy. It's really a minimal upgrade by itself. But I thought since it was cheap and I could afford it at the moment, I'd buy it just to help me do this last like 100 kills before the giveaway. But yeah, that's the plan. Going to stick to it, get this to 2050, and then announce the winner. That makes KC 2050, but I still have enough supplies to do, you know, maybe four or five more kills on this trip. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to go ahead and sell everything off and get the money ready. All right. After selling everything off, I did end up making 25 mil in this episode. So I have the money to do the giveaway from the Zolder pet. And it looks like El Yan, if that's how you say the name, or, uh, say the name right. Sorry about that. It's late and I'm tired. Um, you have won the 25 mil, so I'm going to comment on your comment on that video because I do not believe you are in the Discord, so please look for that. I will try to, like, tag you in it so you should get a notification, and I'll get in touch with you in RuneScape so I can give you this money. Um, that being said, I've made about 50 mil so far in the series because I have the Necklace of, Necklace of Anguish, which is not quite 25 mil but with all the upkeep of the tebow and just the supplies in general i've definitely made over 25 mil or made over 50 mil rather like combined with this but this definitely slowed the rebuild down a little bit but that's the risk you take when you do something like give away 25 mil every time you get a pet it also turns out that while i'm recording this i'm actually only like 20 or 21 subscribers away from getting to a thousand total subscribers which is awesome thank you all so much for your support and the nice comments on the last video and i've decided that at 1000 subscribers i'm going to give away a bond and i'm going to give away a bond per subscriber count so like um at 1000 one bond 2000 two bonds all the way up until i get to 5000 subscribers where i'll be giving away five bonds but um, I hope that you all enjoyed the video. I wish there was more in it, but I've been a little cramped for time the past two weeks preparing for a trip and just some life stuff going on. Had some issues with the cats and stuff. It's really dumb, but I am also human and busy. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have the, a great rest of your day.